Linus Tech Tips is getting an upgrade, folks. If you haven't already seen my videos where I unboxed the FS700 camera and our new Manfrotto tripod and head, you can watch this one where I'm unboxing our Blackmagic Intensity Pro HDMI capture card. So what this is going to allow me to do is use a high quality camera to do even things like live streams and webcasts and stuff like that. So HDMI capture card. Okay, well let's see what Blackmagic has to say for themselves. Okay, HDMI and analog HDSD video editing card. Okay. Uh, includes on-air video mixing. On-air software allows real-time mixing between multiple video sources such as cameras, requires Intensity or Intensity Pro installed in a fast host system for each video input, and on-air software will auto-sync video cameras, display monitoring, and record to disk. Cool stuff. HDMI and analog components. That's great for HDTV or standard definition editing, editing uncompressed video. Because remember, guys, when you have a fancy pants camera like an FS700, you can record to SD, you can record to memory stick, but you're going to be recording in AVC HD. You will not be recording uncompressed video so that's what um, video capture is fantastic for okay compression quality disk based friendly professional compressor is if required intensity includes the same black magic design video technology used on hollywood feature films so quality won't limit your creativity cool stuff all right let's open this up have a look at what we've got in terms of accessories i actually have two of these cards coming uh, well, two of them are here. See, there's two. Um, and these will be used to run a multi-camera setup using XSplit and uh, record live to tape for things like unboxings. So you can see, oh, look at that. They're using a Z Xilinx Spartan chip on there. They've got uh, what appears to be some DDR1 or DDR2 memory. That's either way. It's not DDR3. You can tell from the package size. Uh, hmm. Are they using a PCIe bridge chip? No, it looks like this is a native PCIe 1X card. Very short card, so on the back all you've got is HDMI in, HDMI out, and then the adapter for analog. So this is not a DVI connector, even though it kind of looks like one. See? kind of looks like DVI, but it's not. This is a breakout cable. So you just go ahead and plug that in there. We won't be using any of the analog though. Analog is for hosers at this point. Well, maybe it isn't, I don't know. Maybe you have a very good reason why you still capture analog video. Maybe you have like a fantastic analog video card. So it looks like these are a full set of in and out for component and audio. So one of these reds over here, there's your audio one, and then you have a RGB and then some kind of, okay, whatever that is. So yeah, so two sets, one in, one out, and we won't be using any of it because we don't care. Oh, what's this? Nope. I don't know what this is. It's just, oh, like an S, oh, is that like an S-Video adapter or something? Does that look like S, that's S-Video, I think. So that's probably for like two of these. Like two of these are probably labeled in some way so that you can use them for whatever this is. Oh, maybe it's composite or something. I don't know what they're doing here, but it doesn't matter. It's an HDMI capture card. It captures it up to 1080p, 30 FPS. So that'll be perfect for like a dual cam setup where we want to capture 1080p at 30 FPS. It can also do 720p at 60 FPS. And uh, what else have we missed here? Switch between HD and instant, instantly. Oh yeah, it works on OS 10 as well as Windows. Uh, works with Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop, lots of other cool stuff. And that's pretty much it. So we've got two of these now, which is very exciting times for Linus Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.